Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Top 3 Tech. Today we're going to bring you the XFX Speedster Merc 319, the RX 6800 XT. It's not the black edition. Um, it's funny because the size of this box is about the same size as the 6900 XT box. And I'm actually interested to see if the card is um, as long as that card. And it doesn't feel as heavy, but we shall see. I still have the 6900 XT on hand, so we will be comparing them. I will be doing an unboxing, and then I um, also have the benchmarks at the end. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Alright, as you guys saw, this box is pretty dirty too. I wonder if they had them just piled in the back somewhere. Jeez, and there was a shortage. But yeah, look, as you can see, let me put it a little closer. I'm sure you guys saw them closer, but look, the letters have like black all over it. So that's not cool. But anyways, I haven't seen the contents inside. I'm pretty sure I know what's going to be in here. I've had a lot of XFX cards. I'm pretty much running the gauntlet now. I had the 6900 XT in my last video. This is the 6800 XT. As you guys can see the box up there. We'll be doing a comparison between them in a little bit. But for now, let's check out what's inside here. I like showing you guys what's inside the box. That way, um, these are expensive purchases. It's nice to know what you are getting. It's a stop. Important driver information. No driver disk included in this product. Please connect to the internet to download the latest drivers to receive all the latest optimizations and bug fixes. Please visit one of the following websites to download the latest driver package and software. xfxforce.com support slash drivers. What I just do, I just Google or um, I use Firefox. Um, 6900 XT drivers and then I just download them off AMD. Here's a quick installation guide. It says quick guide. Before installation, it just tells you to disconnect your um, cards, disconnect everything from your uh, case, just simple stuff in case you're not too sure it has it all on there. And of course it's your warranty card as well, you can register your card. Foam on top to protect it, foam on top of the uh, PCIe. Let's see, that's all there is. And then of course here's the card. Very nice, very nice. We're gonna go ahead and take it out of this packaging and do a quick close-up, you guys. This car does have the triple fan design. It is 344 and a half centimeters in length. We do have the Merc logo on the left, painted in white. Right next to it, we have the XFX cutout on the back plate with some dots on top of it and on bottom of it to let out some heat. We also have the big heat vent on the right. We have the Radeon RX 6800 XT logo that is lit up. We have the bio switch on top when push to the right is on the overclock setting. We have the two 16-pin sockets that let the dual um, PCIe 8-pin cables in to power your GPU. And of course, we have the XFX logo on the right that lights up as well. We have the radiator that covers from left to right. And then the PCIe interface has a plastic covering on it, which is a nice touch. We have the three DisplayPort slots and one HDMI slot. And then the XFX logo cut out on the card. All right, guys, before we go any further, let me go ahead and introduce the cards we're going to be comparing them to. On the right, we have the Sapphire Pulse 6800 non-XT. No RGB on it. It has these red lines on the front. The Pulse logo in the middle is a pretty nice card. We have the EVGA 3070Ti. It has the EVGA logos in the middle. It's got the EVGA logos on the fans. It's got these nice little bumps and grooves, as you can see. 
It has this LED bar right here that says EVGA. We have a Sapphire Nitro Plus um, RX 6800 XT Special Edition. These light up. We have the Nitro logo on the front, the Sapphire logo right there, the Fox. Silver little trim. So this is a 6800 XT as well, which is pretty nice to compare to this card right here. As you can see, it's actually shorter um, in length, so it's not as long. And this um, 6800 XT is actually as long as this um, 6900 XT. Could you see that? It's pretty wild. It's a little skinnier. You can barely tell, but it's a little skinnier. It's not as thick as you can see there, but it's pretty much the same length, which um, is very important because I could barely fit that 6900 XT in my Lian Li Lanquo 2. So make sure that um, you check your PC case before you purchase this card because it might not fit in there. Um, the other differences between these the 6900 XT and the 6800, this is the black edition. It's got the black X's right there. They both have Radeon in the middle, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's like the reference cards kind of. But other than that, they pretty much look very similar from the front. And of course, this is how it would look like if you vertically mount it. Let's go ahead and flip them over. And of course, this is the view that most people will see in their PC case. Um, not a lot of people have it vertically mounted compared to the people that have it in there normally. But here's the pulse. I really like this pulse design on it. I wish it was um, RGB. That'd be nice. And it's got little designs on it, as you can see. It's got the little heat vent here as well. And little um, gaps to help air it out. It has a bio switch as well, which is nice. You always want that just in case your card is acting up. You can switch um, BIOS. This EVGA for the Win 3, um, 3070 Ti, has this little red line on it. It reminds me of an AMD card with it. Um, I forgot to show the front. This is how it looks like in the front. Like I said, no RGP. It B, not P. Um, it is 16 pin. It has this little sapphire right there. Radio on there. I know the lower tier cards don't have this little bracket here. It's just um, flat plastic like that. This has the um, LED bar. The EVGA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. It's got the 16 pin socket as well. I believe these are all 16 pin socket. Um, this is the My 6800 XT. This logo lights up. This is all in silver. It's got this little heat vent here. Um, little gaps, little slots to help air it out. Bio switch right there. This lights up with the Sapphire logo. Look at that. It's got silver there as well. As you can see, the differences between the black edition and the regular edition. This has the white paint. I actually like how this looks a lot better than the black. But, you know, so that's just how it is. There's minor details, like look at the little slots here to let out some heat. They're like little triangles almost, like one triangle, maybe a pyramid. Right here, it's just a little line with a little triangle. So there's the differences there. Um, we have these little slots here. There's three little cutouts on the 6800 XT. On the 69, there's this big one and then two little ones here. This little design right here is pretty much the same. XFX cutout on the back plate. And with the little slots, it um, let out some more heat. Um, it looks like these are about the same size as well. So there's not too much difference between these. This 6900 XT is a little heavier. Um, when you look at it through the front right here, this Radeon logo lights up, XFX lights up, as I said in the close-up. But look, it, it's a... Here, we'll go ahead and stand these, actually, just so we can compare it. Because why not? They're here. So look very similar, almost exactly the same. Well, yeah, pretty much exactly the same. Crazy. Look at that. So that's how you can tell the difference. It says the, the different names. But I'm going to go ahead and try to put it in my PC case. Hopefully it fits. Before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and insert this GPU in my Lian Li Lanquo 2 case. It should fit, probably barely like last time. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and put this bad boy in there. Again, make sure that this fits your case because, look, it, I had to move my radiator. It barely fits, but it's in there. Like I said, I do like the white lettering. Let me go ahead and turn on the PC so we can see how it looks like with the LEDs on. All right, the lights are on. Everything's in white. I like, um, 
I like having the lights lit up in white because the letters are in white. I mean, we could have it red too, so it can complement the RX, the radio and RX, but since it is an AMD card. But like I said, I'll keep everything white. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the uh, benchmarks. That way we can see how it compares to the rest of the cards. All right, guys, here we go, the benchmarks. Before I get started, let me go ahead and introduce you to the top three tech PC specs. We have an Asus X570 Tough Gaming Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. We have a Ryzen 7 5800X CPU. We have 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance 3200 MHz RAM. And of course, I'm going to be testing the XFX Speedster Merc 319 Radeon RX 6800 XT. It has 2340 MHz boost clock, 2090 MHz game clock, 1900 MHz core clock. It has 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. It is running on the, on the RDNA2 architecture. And the minimum recommended wattage for this is 750 watt PSU. And then the GPU is running on SAM. And then the NVIDIA cards are running on DLSS when applicable. But I do show the results um, without it too.
pretty tough to find anything negative with this card, but we do got a little bit of pros and cons. I mean, the performance on this card is pretty uh, pretty good, pretty good. It's close to 6900 XT performance for $80 cheaper, um, depending on what card you're looking at. Um, it doesn't make too much noise, which is a plus. I know everybody likes their fans to be quiet. Um, the temps are great, so I mean, it's hard to knock there. Um, the RGB or the LEDs on it are pretty nice. I guess that's the only con is if you want to change the colors of it, you can't. But the colors that are on there, the white and red, look pretty classy and will match a lot of builds anyways. So that's not too much to um, worry about. And I do like that it comes with a bio switch. That way, if you do run into any problems, you can always reset your GPU. And um, if it freezes or whatever, stability issues, just switch it over and then try to fix it again. Um, the cons would be the size of it. It's a huge card, it's not going to fit in every PC case. So if you got a small case, um, just double check the measurements before you buy it. So that's one of the cons I would say. But um, I guess price is a con too. It is pretty pricey, $600 still a lot for a GPU, $620. But compared to what they were, it's a steal. And I guess for $80 more you can get the 6900 XT. But that's for like a couple more frames anyways. That's totally up to you. I would recommend this card or the 6900 XT. Either way, good card. Hope you liked the review. Catch you guys later. Peace. Thank you for watching another video from Top 3 Entertainment. Um, I hope you hit like and subscribe. Also, I'm gonna have a recommended playlist, a recommended video right here, so make sure to click that as well. I appreciate you guys tuning in, whether it be to the Top 3 Tech, Top 3 Gaming, or the Why Not Me podcast. You guys are dope. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And of course, let's grow this thing together. Peace. Peace. Peace.